Hi everyone, this is Faye from Faceworld Media, and today we're going to talk about AI Voice Enhancer from Wondershare's Filmora version 14. Now I'm going to show you on screen and demonstrate to you some of the recordings I have done over the years. You probably have seen some of the Montreal Circus Festival videos that I record on the road. We go there every single year in July. What I find myself doing a lot of times is I'm walking down the street and trying to capture that moment in time of what I'm experiencing, what I'm thinking about. Sometimes I show up in front of a circus artist or schedule a backstage interview where there is rehearsal going on. There's a lot of background sound that I simply couldn't control, no matter the device I am using. Because as you know, when it comes to performing, theater work, and just generally working as a creator, we don't always have control over the environment. I'm going to show you some examples now, and you can see with just one button click, what Filmora version 14 is going to do for you. All right, let me show you a couple of examples that are different from each other. Backstage at Echo, which is part of Cirque du Soleil. Things about the creation of Echo is you get like all these different like costumes and like apparatus that are really different. Do you hear the background sound, specifically the music that was playing as part of the rehearsal? So it was very hard to hear Justine. So all I have to do is create a second clip. This is to demonstrate what I did. So I hover over and click on this clip. Then I go to the right hand panel under audio. I'll have AI voice enhancer turned on. As you can see below that, I can further dial voice clarity and voice beautification, but I actually quite like the default selection. So let me show you the same segment again. Things about the creation of Echo is you get like all these different like costumes and like apparatus that are really different than other series that I show you. So suddenly I can actually hear her a lot better. Now let me show you another example. Sometimes when I'm driving in the car, we're in the passenger seat. I like to kind of capture some reflections and also some footage from our travel. So here is the wind sound. Do you hear that? For the wind noise alone, I want to show you how I can dial that down. So again, I duplicated that clip, hover over again under audio. I have what's under denoise called wind removal. All I have to do is turn that on. It's on when you see a little green dot and it's swiped to the right. Let's hear the difference. I think it was reducing it by like 70, 80%, still preserving the authenticity so that it's not completely quiet. All right, let me show you something else. So while I'm driving, I'm reflecting and talking over the video with a lot of background noise, also wind noise in this case. So nostalgic entering into the city of Montreal. Look at the ocean view. All right, so there's that original clip. You can hear my voice with fairly, I would say, medium wind noise. All I did was turning on wind removal. I also, in this case, have AI voice enhancer turned on. Let's have a listen. Always so nostalgic entering into the city of Montreal. Look at the ocean view. So suddenly you can hear me much, much better. As always, I recommend that you play back these enhancements and play with these dials and adjustments to figure out what works best for your footage. Now, what I love about this feature is that you really don't have to be an advanced user. You don't have to be an audio engineer. In fact, the core of these AI features built into Filmora version 14 is that they're there to help you save the most amount of time feel confident during your editing process. And that's exactly what we're aiming for. So what is this feature all about? AI Voice Enhancer. Really what it's doing is removing unwanted background noise. It could be anything, really dogs barking, babies crying, or people talking, chattering, or in my case, traveling and filming Montreal Circus Festival. There was all kinds of noise happening, such as technicians assembling something for the show, music being played, people in rehearsal, removing these noises without you having to identify what they are. And through this particular AI feature, it will do all of that for you. Audio engineering actually is quite complicated. The way that you go about removing noise or enhancing audio in general is different for different situations. And you don't have to guess this AI denoise feature will take care of that for you. When do you use AI voice enhancer? When you're filming in an uncontrolled environment, which is a lot of the times for us, meaning you're not in a quiet studio room, 
In fact, while I'm doing this, there's people doing yard work outside, not too far from the house. So there's a little humming noise that I can tell that I will be able to hear during post-production. In general, uncontrolled environment. But even when you're inside the house these days, there could be yard work, kids screaming or dogs barking. You can control it while you're recording. That includes Zoom meetings where you're trying to conduct a webinar and then they have to deal with the post-production later on when it comes to these audio issues. Filmora version 14 really is quite incredible. On top of that, after you have turned on AI Voice Enhancer, there are further configurations you can apply. For example, voice clarity and voice beautification. So together you can adjust the dials and figure out what works best for you. By default, they're usually up there at around 70 to 80%, but you can dial it down or up depending on the final output that you're listening, you're paying attention to, as well as the original recording environment. This way, no matter who is using this feature, you have full control over how to determine the final outcome. Now, speaking of which, I do want to talk to you guys briefly about how to really use AI Voice Enhancer. What are some of the things to watch out for? As much as we want it to be just turn it on, walk away, export it, and forget it, in reality, when you're dealing with really important content and videos, you want to make sure there are three things you pay attention to. There's a lovely article written and produced by Wondershare Fumora, and I recommend that you check it out. I'll include a link in the description below. Number one is pronunciation. After you have applied AI Voice Enhancer, you do want to listen back to the clip and make sure people still sound like themselves and nothing is distorted. You can hear and understand what they're talking about. Number two is timing. I have not run into this issue as much. After the feature is applied, you want to re-listen and re-watch that segment to make sure that the audio and the video are still in sync. Number three is what they call tone. Tone of voice should not be manipulated to a degree that it changes the meaning of the content. Now, in general, some of you are thinking about, do I really have to pay attention to audio that much, especially if you're a new creator? I have to let you know that no matter how clear and quality or 6K camera you're using for your video, audio matters so much. As I was learning in my documentary journey, creating face roll documentary, my producers and audio engineers were constantly emphasizing and telling me that audio in a way matters even more than video. So I think we've all seen some stunning videos with very poor audio quality, and that's a real issue. With Humora version 14, you can really dial it up and clean up the audio if the original quality wasn't ideal. Now, last but not least, I do want to talk about why you need this feature or AI features in general for your video editing tool. Why can't you just feed the footage into a third party, get the audio effects you want, and then import it into whichever video editing tool. Yes, you can do that. In fact, I was doing that for many years. However, I find it to be such a time saver with Filmora. All the tools, everything I need is in one suite. I don't have to download anything else. Import export not only takes more time, but it can also introduce potential errors. In addition to AI Voice Enhancer, there are many other AI tools available in Filmora today. I also want to mention that, especially if you're producing content for social media, for YouTube, it is so convenient to play with Filmora. All the templates are there. There are an insane amount of quality stock media. There are audio as well and music you can use. There are many, many templates. You won't run out of them. And also text and lower third, that's gonna help you out along the way. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like this one, please check out the next video as well. As always, I welcome your questions and feedback in the comments below. I love this to be a two-way street and thank you for allowing me to teach you a few things, introduce these new features, and I'll see you next time.